Hello and welcome to the Skincare Starter Pack product overview. My name is Louise Riley and it's my pleasure to take you through this amazing Skincare Starter Pack. Now, as you can see on the slide, you can see the actual skincare products that you get within this fantastic Starter Pack, but you also get some of our drinking gels as well. And what I'm going to do through this presentation is take you through all the different products that you have within the starter pack so you can understand the order in which to use the products, why to use, why to use the products, and also how you personally can benefit, how your customers and your clients can also benefit from using the products. Now, one of the things that you probably have noticed within the pack is that within your literature pack, you will get a whole range of different uh, literature, including this particular six step skincare routine. Now, this is keeping it really, really simple to understand which order that you would use the products in. Now, of course, as you can see on here, that it talks about step one, taking your aloe vera, your shot of aloe vera, and also your marine collagen. Now, you can drink your aloe and you can take your marine collagen. Most people will actually take the products in the morning. However, if it's actually suits your routine a little bit more, then please don't worry if you decide it's better for you to take them at night. Now, as I go through each product, I will expand out a little bit more on the benefits of, of taking each one. And of course, the next steps are cleanse, tone, hydrate, moisturize and refine. And some of these you will do morning and night and other ones you may decide just to do them in the morning, depending again, uh, the actual situation of what you've got on that day, um, how things have panned out. And of course, the most important thing that you're personally using the product so you can recommend them to others. And then you can also share the same information onto your, your customers as well as your clients. So step two would be cleansing. And we have the Infinite by Forever Hydrating Cleanser for that. Now, as I said, uh, you would use this at night time to take off your, your day's makeup or maybe you've had sunscreen or any other um, particular challenges, maybe with having oily skin. And um, you can also obviously use it in the morning. Now, sometimes people say, why would you want to cleanse your skin in the morning? But of course, we have been sleeping and as we sleep without people realizing that, um, or are, you know, we, we do sweat, we do perspire and there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't get a benefit from using a cleanser in the morning. So please don't think it's just a product that you'd be using at night time. So the next product you will be using is the toner. Now, a toner is a, a product that can be used for a variety of reasons. I'm going to go into it in more detail when we get to that particular slide. But the, the basics of a, of a toner is to help to any extra impurities that you may have on the skin. It leaves your skin feeling queaky, squeaky clean, but also because of the ingredients in there, it's going to hydrate your skin but also the word balancing comes from the fact and I explain later that it will help to balance with the natural pH within your skin. Step four may be a new uh, step that you haven't actually done before or your customers or your clients haven't done before and this is where we're going to be using a serum to hydrate the skin and by hydrating the skin, it's going to help your skin to appear uh, plumper, reduce the appearance of fine lines of wrinkles. And I'll, I'll explain why that is. And then the step five is moisturize. So one of the, the very, very basics that people who are using products in a skincare routine may do is to cleanse and to moisturize. But now we've added in the tone and the hydrate, but it's really important that we are moisturizing on a daily basis. Moisturize before we go to bed, 
moisturize in the morning. And once again, I'm going to explain that in, in more detail. And then we have step six is to refine. And this can be something that is a little bit different. This is one where you have added in a face mask that, yes, it can be used during the day, but it is a great mask that has been specifically designed to put on at bedtime. And of course, if you're choosing to use the mask, you may decide to go from the hydrate state straight to the mask or you may decide to incorporate it with the moisturizer. If you are incorporating it with the moisturizer, you're better to actually put the moisturizer on over the top of the mask because then you're getting a little bit of a double whammy. But once again, let's go through all the products and understand them in more detail. But this may be a burning question for you. And of course, to be able to share the information with others that why would you want to use aloe vera on your skin? Well, aloe vera is nothing new. It's been around for literally thousands of years. All the ancient civilizations have known about aloe and especially as using it in their skincare regime. In fact, we know that Queen Cleopatra has used it within the Roman era. She actually is known to have applied it to her skin um, or just and not just on her face, but also her body, uh, even bathed in it. Uh, it's been a, a product that has been used, an ingredient that's been used in many products over the years. Now, this is because aloe vera is a plant that is nutrient packed, it's nutrient dense. What that means to you, what that means to your customers and your clients is that your skin is going to thank you for putting aloe on the skin because not only does it have all of those nutrients in there, but the power comes from aloe vera is pH balanced and it is known to be an adaptogen. Very, very simply, it doesn't matter the age of the skin, the condition of the skin, or indeed the environment the skin is in. Aloe loves your skin and your skin loves aloe. And of course, that means that because it can adapt, it can adapt to how your skin can change on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis, even a yearly basis. And you may be asking, gosh, does my skin change that often? Well, let's think about it as a, a yearly basis you may have decided to start using your specific skincare regime or products that you use now because you were introduced to them by a family member or a friend. Now, I know myself all those years ago that I started to use particular skincare products on my skin because it's what my mum was using. So I kind of thought back then before I was really into skincare, before I became a, a qualified the beauty therapist, that I thought to myself, gosh, it must be that the, the skincare products that mum uses, they must be suitable for me because, of course, I must have the same skin as my mum. But I think we all know that isn't the case. So that was in my naivety. So I started to use those products. And maybe you found that you've done exactly the same thing, too. But then it might be that over a little period of time, you start to think, oh, my skin doesn't feel so good. It doesn't look so good as it used to. I wonder why that is. And of course, you don't actually think it's your skincare products. You start to think it's something else. You start to think maybe it's makeup you're using or it's a sunscreen you're using. Um, you don't start to think that it could be anything to do with skincare. And if you actually think about it, that you wouldn't give your and well an adult a baby's diet so why would you not change the food for your skin either as you get older because your skin is aging and changing now looking back to all the knowledge over the years that a general rule of thumb would be that you'd be looking at changing your skincare regime your skincare products every approximate three to five years because your skin is aging and changing, like I said. So you wouldn't give an adult a baby's diet, so you wouldn't give um, your, your skin the wrong food either, as I said. But that is like, wow, that's a lot of changing going on. And it can get really, really complicated. 
But this is the great thing about Allo. And this is why when you are using it, when you're advising other people with our skincare, it takes the guesswork out of thinking about what to use because aloe will adapt as your skin is aging and changing. But not only that, that aloe as an adaptogen can also adapt to the environment your skin's in. So let me give you an example. It might be that today has been a hot day, today could have been a cold day, and depending on the day, you may have had the heating on or you may have had the aircon on. And we know that aircon and heating can have an effect on your skin. So let's just give the analogy. Let's just say that you have been in your home and you've had the heating on and then you decide to go out, you then get into the car, you put the heating on in your car. And let's just say you've been really, you're lucky because you're going on holiday and you drive to the airport, you get into the airport, and um, different in environment there. You get on a plane and um, you have the air come on in the plane. It's very, very drying to your skin. You get off the plane the other end and uh, you're now in a hot and hu humid environment or it could be that you're going skiing and, and it's cold. The great thing is if you've got aloe on your skin, as you're changing through the environment, aloe has the ability to adapt. That's why we can say as an adaptogen, it can have an effect on where your skin happens to be, how it is being stressed or traumatized on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. So I just really wanted to clarify that aloe is so perfect for your skin, takes out the guesswork, and it means that the whole range of products that we have, you can mi mix and match to change how your, your skin is at that particular time. So why then Forever's Aloe? So we've spoken about why aloe for the skin. Why Forever's Aloe? Well, let's go right back to where the aloe comes from. First of all, the aloe that Forever use in the products is actually right down from the source because Forever own every single aspect from the, the planting of the, of the aloe. And when the aloe is a little baby plant, it's known as a pup. So it is, it is planted by hand. So it, it is chosen for the quality of the little babies, the little pups. It is tended, it's nurtured by hand, it's harvested by hand. Now, within the aloe leaf, you can see on the slide, there are the aloe plants and they can grow to around about five years of age. And that is a good maturity because by that particular point, the nutrients have got into the aloe and inside the aloe plant, you have this gel. So the gel inside the leaf is the part that is collecting all the nutrients. And that's the bit that we want. Forever's aloe in the fields that forever have is get the right amount of sunshine, the right amount of, of water, aloe plants, they so also need to be uh, to have water. And also very importantly, in the right soil to actually get the right nutrients that come up through, through the roots into that uh, important part of the gel. Once they have been, been harvested and they're harvested by hand, don't use any machinery. And the reason for not using any machinery is because machinery may have a challenge towards the very, very delicate gel that, that Forever are collecting. Then the gel is actually removed from inside the leaves by hand as well. And that, mean, that then means that the gel that is going into the, into the aloe products is just as nature intended. So it's the purest aloe. And then what happens from that aloe, it goes in and it is stabilized. So it is stabilized to make sure that it's not going off. And we also need to protect it from a normal thing that can happen is oxidation. So what is oxidation? Well, if you were to get an apple and you were to slice it open or you were to peel a banana, you know that the apple will go brown fairly quickly. That's through oxidation. And if you take your banana, it will go black fairly quickly through oxidation. Same thing with avocado, it will start to go brown, oxidation. We want to protect the aloe from the oxidation, and that's why we use a stabilization process using natural derived ingredients. 
Within the starter kit, the skincare starter kit, we are talking about if you want to look good on the outside, it makes sense to start on the inside. And that is why by drinking aloe vera, it is going to support the health of your body and your skin. So let's just talk about why you would want to have a shot of Forever's aloe vera gel. Well, the first thing is that the way that the stabilization process of the drinks is that it is literally through something called an aseptic process. We take the gel and then that gel has a little bit of steam that goes over the top in the, in the big vats that it is now being collected in within about four to five hours of, of it being harvested. That steam, that heat is going to kill any nasties or pathogens that may be lurking around, but it is not too hot that it would kill the nutrients in the aloe, but hot enough to kill the pathogens. That means that the aloe in the drinks is delivered to the customer, to you, to your clients, just as nature intended. Now, remember I said about taking a banana or taking an apple, and we don't want it to go brown. I want you to think about the same process with the aloe vera drinking gels. And literally we take a little bit of vitamin C or citric acid, just like you would in lemon juice and squeeze it. Remember if you squeeze lemon juice onto that cut apple, it will protect it from oxidizing. So I want you to think about the same analogy of, of why that citric acid uh, from vitamin C is going to be having the same effect. That is why the drinks have 99.7% aloe. That other 0.3% literally comes from that. Imagine the analogy of um, that citric acid from vitamin C. So why would people want to drink aloe? Well, most people, they want to have great skin, hair and nails, a good, strong digestive system. They don't want to be tired. Most people want to have great joints. They want to be the best that they can be. And that's why people have a shot of aloe every day because aloe vera is nutrient dense. It contains a whole cocktail of nutrients. In fact, over 75 nutrients. And it's the nutrients in aloe vera that are gonna support the body in the areas I've mentioned to be in balance, to be the best they can be. And shake before use and how much do people drink? Well, on the side of the container, it says the serving size is 120 mils. As you can see on there, it's giving you a little bit of an average of a shot of 60 to 120 mils. That's what you would find most people would have on a daily basis. You can also see at the bottom, there are certifications that come with the drink and also the awards. But very importantly, the aloe that we have within our, our products is actually actually carries the organic seal. So it is organically grown. And you can see that at the bottom alongside the other awards that the aloe has. So as I said, as nature intended, you get a litre. Um, this this litre will, will come obviously in your skincare starter pack. And it is our flagship product. It also is enriched with vitamin C. Now, vitamin C has many roles within the body. And here are some of the benefits that I wanted to list. First of all, uh, immune system. So even though in the starter kit, we are specifically talking about skincare, that who do you know who wants to have great skin, but also wants to have a great immune system? Energy, cell protection and metabolism. But the vitamin C also has a very important role in collagen formation, and it supports the normal function of the skin, the teeth, the gums, bones, cartilage and blood vessels. And that's because collagen is found in all of those specific areas of the body. And it's also a drink that is suitable for vegetarians as well as vegans. But within the skincare pack, you also will see another drink. So this is the Forever Aloe Berry Nectar. Now, the first drink, obviously, I'm sure you're going to try them. 
Uh, it has a little bit of a sharp taste. It's own natural, just as nature intended. I like to say it tastes a little bit like a bitter grapefruit juice. Now this one is fruitier. This has the addition of cranberries and apples as well. And because it has the addition of the cranberries and apples, the amount of aloe has gone down a little bit. You can see it's now 90.7% and not 97 for obvious reasons. But it also has this antioxidant vitamin C, just like the plain gel. And this will also help to protect your cells from oxidative. So after looking at oxidation again, so our body can, can get stressed out through oxidation inside. Now, I know sometimes we can see things happening on the outside. Uh, a great example of what oxidation is, and sometimes people ask me that, that when you see a um, uh, some rust that is on maybe a drain pipe or a car, anything like that, that is oxidation. So environment stresses of life can cause oxidative stress on the outside, but also the inside. And of course, our cells can also go through oxidative stress. So we know vitamin C has a great role for that as well. Same thing here, this is a tastier choice. Uh, if it's something that you prefer, 60 to 120 mils also has all the certifications as before. And uh, exactly the same as before, just it's down to your personal preference. This is fruitier. You could mix and match them if you want to. Uh, some people that I recommend drinking aloe to, they choose to have uh, both of these drinks. You can also choose to have it in the morning, at the evening. You can mix and match, have maybe 60 mils in the morning, 60 mils in the evening, whatever. But the most important thing is by drinking the aloe, you can see the benefits that your body's going to have, your skin's going to have, and also uh, that part of your skin which we, we have is the collagen, which obviously we're going to be having a talk about right now. So with the Forever Marine Collagen, as we've already mentioned, beauty starts with, with it, within. And yes, uh, this is what I like to call one of our cosmeceuticals, because of course, we've all heard about pharmaceuticals, we've heard about nutraceuticals, and nutraceutical causes um, nutritional support. And of course, nutritional support is important for our skin, but then cosmeceuticals is also something that is linked to, to skincare and cosmetics specifically. And I think the Forever Marine Collagen really fits in nicely because a lot of people really want to start to look after their skin the, the best that they can before it starts to show on the outside. Now, as you can see on the slide, that without realizing things are starting to happen with inside our body from our mid 20s. And that's because all the way throughout our body, we have these little things called fibroblasts. And fibroblasts are the factories that manufacture collagen, as well as elastin, which is another protein fiber that we get in our body, especially in our skin, and also something called hyaluronic acid. And these three things are manufactured from these little fibroblasts. Now, from our mid twenties, these fibroblasts are just not being so effective of producing these three things, especially collagen. So that is why over a period of time, you will start to notice probably from your 30s that especially what you can see on your face, you will start to notice fine lines and wrinkles. And the areas that we notice them first tend to be around our eye area. And this is because it's a delicate, it's a thinner skin around our, our eye area. And I know some people like to refer to them as crow's feet. From that particular point, it can also start to happen maybe around our mouth. But then as we get older, that our collagen production really does start to slow down. And collagen production really does start to slow down specifically for women as they're going through what I like to call those golden years. Uh, collagen is actually found all the way through the body. As I said, it's not just in our skin and our hair and our nails, but it is absolutely everywhere. It's in our eyes. 
it's in our uh, in our gums it lines our digestive tract it lines our blood vessels in our bones are actually also uh, specifically made of collagen and minerals uh, our cartilage our tendons our ligaments all through the body so when you're thinking about collagen even though we're focusing focusing on skin remember you can find it everywhere so drink one of these a day and once again a lot of people will choose to have it in the morning but you can also have it in the evening if that's what is better for you so what makes Forever's Marine Collagen a, a super special product and why take Forever Marine Collagen? Well, one of the things that often people ask is the amount of collagen that we have in our product. And we have three grams of collagen. And the reason that we have three grams of collagen is because when you start to look at what the body can use forever, is constantly looking at something to do with bioavailability. Bioavailability is the terminology that means what can your body use? How can it use it? And of course, we can think sometimes if we give our body too much, then there's no point in giving it too much because it can't use it. Another analogy, imagine going to park your car in a car park and let's say, that there are 400 cars that go to a multi-story car park and there's only 200 spaces. What's going to happen to the 200 cars that can't park? They would have to leave the car park. So it's the same thing. If you give your body more than it needs, it's not gonna be able to use it. And also we're not focusing on a huge amount of collagen because I also like to give an analogy of makeup. If you use foundation, you may use foundation, your customers, your clients may use foundation. And I think you might be aware that less is more, that sometimes if you put too much makeup on, too much foundation, it has the opposite effect. So it doesn't mean the more you put on your skin, the better it's going to be, or the more collagen you put in your body, the better it's going to be, or the more that goes in your body can use it. So forever take the three grams, but very, very importantly, we wanna nudge the body. We want to, those little fibroblasts, we want to make sure those little fibroblasts are also getting what they need. So, we want to make sure it's bioavailable. And you can see a whole array of ingredients that's alongside the marine collagen, such as the vitamins A, vitamin C, biotin, the mineral zinc, and also coenzyme Q10. On top of that, we've added other things in there like black pepper, goji berries, green tea extracts. And the important thing is that we're making sure that collectively, all of those ingredients work together to make sure that the collagen that is ingested, your body can use it. So benefits, why would you have this? Because first of all, a liquid formula, it comes in a very easy, convenient little on the go sachet. That means that you can take it uh, out and about with you. If you find you, you're better taking it a little bit later in the day, or you're away and you want to uh, have it while you're away, or you can pop it into your handbag, you can pop it into your gym bag, whatever suits you. It is going to help to improve the skin's texture, maintain healthy skin, and in also importantly, supports the appearance of firmer skin. It has the addition of vitamin C, and vitamin C is really important to work alongside collagen because, as we said earlier, the collagen needs the vitamin C to help it, uh, to, to make it and help the formation of it. And uh, also biotin and zinc that we get in the product also support our healthy skin, as well as the normal function of bones, cartilage, teeth, and gums. And as we said earlier, we know collagen is found all the way through the body. You can also see some other great awards that the Forever Marine Collagen has had. And now we're using, moving to the Infinite by Hydrating Cleanser. The Infinite range is one of the ranges that we have. 
In, so there are three specific ranges with forever. First of all, we have the infinite by forever. The next one is the target range. And finally, it's the, the Sonia range. So within the skincare starter pack, what you get is a selection of all of these. This is going to give you an introduction to all, all the three ranges. And that has been done for a reason. We wanted to be able to, get, to introduce you to them, but also to understand, don't panic, that do you have to use all the infinite together? Do you have to use the sonic together? Absolutely not. They have been designed to mix and match. And because the common denominator is Forever's aloe vera, we know it's an adaptogen. So this cleanser is a cleanser that people like to use if they feel their skin, it's nice and um, rich and creamy, but you may choose to use this particular product if you feel your skin is a little drier um, or for the more mature skin. And this is packed with lots of naturally derived ingredients alongside the, the aloe. And when you actually take it out, please remember all of our products a little goes a long way. So please don't go like this and put a big blob into your hand. Please, please be advised and advise your customers and clients too that they only need to have a little bit because maybe the products that you or others have been using in the past, you've had to use a lot to get that consistency and to get a result. These products are um, super potent. So you only need a little bit. And literally what you do is you uh, make sure you're applying this product with water. So you can use on wet fingers and uh, literally massage it into the skin. Don't forget to put it onto your neck as well. And you can use this morning and night. You can remove it in the, in the way that you prefer or your customers prefer, which could be cotton, cotton wool pads. It could be a, a cloth, a damp cloth, but make sure as you are removing the product, you keep rinsing it out um, to make sure you're applying uh, a cleaner cloth or a cleaner cotton to, to, your, to your face. So you can also use this over your eye area. It's absolutely fine because remember, it's, it's perfect for delicate skin. So a few... Fast facts, just to, uh, to summarize this product. First of all, it is sulfate free. People will ask, what does that mean? Well, sulfates, if you use a sulfate cleanser on your skin, it is very, very dry. Looking at the pH scale again, that our skin is naturally acidic. It naturally has a pH of approximately 5.5. So when we're using products on our skin, we want to make sure it is as close to our natural pH as possible. And that's why, as I said earlier, aloe vera has the same pH as human skin. And so it is in that acidic level. Sulfates are very alkaline. They go above the pH of seven. So that the stronger an alkaline, the drier it is. So this is why we don't use any sulfates because they're too drying. Sulfates are used in a product to kind of like foam them up. Um, but when you're using ingredients that we use, um, such as apples and coconuts, they can actually, they can actually create that foaming effect at a lower pH. So the benefits then are going to cleanse your skin of dirt, oil, makeup, sunscreen, without drying, has the addition of linolenic acid and also vitamin E. And this is from sunflower oil. And this helps to break down dirt and debris. Because what's interesting, some, some people say, oh, I've got a bit of oily skin. Actually, what you, you need if you have quite oily skin, you need something a bit like a, a magnet. So oil attracts oil, yeah? So that's how it breaks it down. And it's also a product that is suitable for vegetarians as well as vegans. Next product, so we've cleansed and then we're going to tone. Now, unlike toners, if you're somebody that's used a toner in the past and kind of stopped using a toner because you found it was too drying. Years ago, when toners first 
kind of hit the market, you might say, that they were known to be very dry because one of the things about a toner was to reduce pore size. So it's kind of giving that sharp, sharp feeling. And that's a lot of toners contained alcohol and that's why they were drying. So let's just think about what is the role of a toner? A toner is known as a secondary cleanser. So a secondary cleanser means that if there's any residue left on the skin from cleansing the skin, this is like your secondary cleanser to make the skin really squeaky clean. That's why when it says to ensure all dirt and debris is removed, so it's a secondary cleanser. The second thing it does, it is to help to reduce pore size. Now, we don't want to close the pores on our skin because our skin is our third lung. It needs to breathe. So we don't want to close them off completely, but we want to reduce them. We want to make them a little tighter. And this is very important, especially for, for men, because men, generally speaking, their pore size is, is, is larger than women. That's obviously because of facial hair. And then, of course, as we get older, our, our skin can uh, start to, to lose some of its bounce, its elasticity. So women are going through it, their menopausal skin uh, will notice that their, uh, their pore size is larger. So a toner is really good to help to reduce pore size. And then uh, the third thing it does, it's a skin freshener. So it makes the skin feel really fresh and alive. So uh, it's a great product to use, as I said, between using the cleanser and the moisturizer. Now there's some great ingredients in here that make it more than just a toner of those three rolls. And that is because of some of the ingredients that we have that you may have heard of before, such as um, hi uh, sodium hyaluronate. Now remember I said hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is naturally occurring in our body. It's naturally occurring in our skin. Now, hyaluronic acid, one of the roles it has in the skin, I want you to imagine that um, a, a little piece of hyaluronic acid as, a, as a, a molecule that's in your skin, it's like a piece of sponge. Now, if you have a dry piece of sponge, you know that if you wet that piece of sponge, what's going to happen? It's going to expand. The same thing happens with these little molecules of hyaluronic acid. They attract moisture. In fact, they can hold up to 100 times their own weight in water. And um, they can actually, sorry, 1,000 times their own weight in water. Apologize for that. So what they can do is that if you are attracting moisture into your skin, then what will happen if you put more hyaluronic acid into your skin or sodium hyaluronate, you're going to have more little pieces of sponge that are going to attract moisture. If you now imagine that the surface of your skin may be a little bit kind of dropping down a little bit, you know, just through the aging process, and then you've got more hyaluronic acid your skin can look and appear plumper. So hyaluronic acid is really good for attracting moisture, but giving the appearance of a finer and plumper skin. So that is a really key ingredient. And also we have cucumber extract. Now cucumber is a very distant relative of the aloe family. And as if you think about the consistency that you find inside cucumber, it's very, very similar to what you see in, in the aloe plant with that gel inside the leaf. So very, very soothing. So it's a soothing ingredient. Refreshes and soothes, smooth skin tone and texture, and also the addition of white tea uh, because our skin can, can change and it can um, have fluctuations. And as I said, it helps to minimize the appearance of pores. So a great product all round and how to use it. Well, you can choose to use it straight onto some cotton wool if you want to, or another thing that you can do, I personally do this, I recommend this, is not to waste the toner onto a piece of cotton wool um, because we don't want the cotton wool soaking it up. You can pop some into your hands and you can splash it onto your face. You don't need a lot. It's very, very potent. Uh, so it's entirely up to you how you choose to use it. 
Now, talking about hydration, we're moving on to the serum. This isn't any serum. Serums have been on the market for quite a while. You may be using a serum. You um, may have um, been recommended to use a serum. So why this one? Well, let's think about what the role of a serum is. Very similar of this, um, reducing the fine lines and wrinkles, giving the skin a plumper looking effect. And this has some really, really key ingredients in it. So first of all, what you do is you would only use a tiny bit. When you're using the hydrating serum, always make sure it's standing up because then it's easy to get the product out. You only need to have one tiny pump and one tiny pump can go a long way. If you are using it on your, on your neck, then obviously maybe another pump, but literally one pump you will find can do the whole of your face. One of my little tricks is that when I really want people to see how this product works, is to put it onto the back of one hand. And if you put a little bit onto the back of one hand, leave it and then just compare it to the back of the other hand. It's absolutely amazing how you can see the difference, how the skin appears finer and plumper. And it gives it a lovely, fresh looking uh, appearance as well. So it is a really good little tip that you can show some of the power of this. So what makes this so special is the fact that it contains some really interesting ingredients. It contains snow mushroom, shea butter, and tamarind, which are all known for their support in skin health. But this isn't just any serum. This contains four types of hyaluronic acid. A lot that you see on the market will just have one type of hyaluronic acid. What does that mean? That means that these molecules of hyaluronic acid are different sizes. And because they're different sizes, it means they will sit at different levels within the structure of your skin. You have the surface of your skin, which is called the epidermis. And then the big thick layer in the middle is called the dermis. And if you have different molecules of, high, uh, of hyaluronic acid sitting in your skin, um, then it means it's going to be, give a really good effect of supporting how your skin looks and obviously um, helping the skin to appear plump. So great product, four different um, hyaluronic acids in there. And look at all the awards it's had. It's an absolutely amazing product and really good value for money. Now, the deep moisturizing cream. The deep moisturizing cream absolutely smells divine. This is a product that contains some, also some key ingredients that I want to go through. This is your moisturizer. It's your daily moisturizer. Uh, you might also want to recommend it. If people want to use another moisturizer within, within the Forever range, we have a, a moisturizer from the Infinite range, which is great. It's a restoring cream. So if people want to use that one um, or they want to use the, um, the one from the Sonia range, they could also use this as well because some people like to use this not just um, as a day cream, but also as a night cream. So someone may choose to use an infinite one in the morning and a deep moisturizing cream at night. Remember, these products can be mixed and matched. You'll, you'll find the ones that work for you, your customers, your clients will, but you may also want to change them through the seasons as well. So remember, you can do that. Now, one of the powerful things about this is that, yes, it has our aloe, but it has ceramides. Now, you know, what are ceramides? Ceramides are these fatty acids that are part of the structure of the surface of your skin. Your skin structure is made up of all these different numbers of ceramides. Now, what can happen is that when your skin is drier, it could be that your skin is missing some of the ceramides that it should have in the skin. It's just the way that your skin has been uh, made, you, you might say, you've inherited, or it could be just through time, wear and tear, products you've been using on your skin, because we know some very harsh ingredients, especially ones that are quite alkaline, can have an effect on the surface of our skin, okay? So ceramides are these fatty acids that 
are we're putting back onto the skin surface. So that's what your serum adds, or their fatty acids, which are, which are part of the makeup of human skin. So we have the ceramides, but also we have very, very powerful antioxidants, which are found in pine bark extract. Pine bark extract is a total buzzword that these antioxidants are really supporting the health of your skin. And pine bark extract is something that people are really in looking into. So I suggest you go and do some research on pine bark extract. Now, Forever Living have had these important ingredients in their products for a long time. So you could say that we are leading the trends with our products because we're combining these botanicals with aloe, because that's what Forever Living do. They take the science and nature and combine them together. This product is a great natural moisturizer for your skin, improves appearance of texture, and also is really, really thick and rich, but it gives, it really sits on your skin and makes it feel nourished, gives you a great glow. Now to use it, you take it out of the container and I would suggest using a cotton bud so you're not putting your fingers into, into the pot or you may have a little skin spatula. You use the spatula to take the product out and then put it onto your skin. Absolutely amazing. And the smell is something to die for. A little goes a long way. And then we have our refining gel mask. Now, the refining gel mask is part of our Sonia skincare range. The Sonia skincare range, you can get that in a, in a green kit, or you can also get the products separately. This has been specifically designed to put on uh, as a mask while you sleep, okay? It's something you can't see. Some, some people say, oh my gosh, um, I'm I going wearing gel on my face. Will I stick to the pillow? Absolutely not. It will be absorbed into your skin, but you can also choose to use it if you want to um, during the day, if it's something you want to do, and you can put it underneath your, your moisturizer. So you'd put your hydrating serum on, you'd then put on your gel mask, and then you'd put on the, um, the deep moisturizing cream if you are specifically using the products that you've got in your skincare starter pack to get going. So I just wanna tell you what is quite super special about this is the delivery system. So it's called a gel mask because the delivery system is a gel delivery system. What that means to you is, imagine a, like a little gel molecule. And it's the, the product is actually, um, when we have this delivery gel system, when you put it onto the skin, and this is exactly the same with all of the products that we have in the Sonia range, that they have been designed so that when they go onto the skin, all the ingredients in this like little, let's say a gel capsule, imagine like it's a little globule on your skin. Um, you could say it's also like a, um, a little car. So a little car has come along and it's got a, its a load inside of people. And in this case, it's a lot of botanicals and ingredients. So um, the car's going along, and it needs to kind of um, be delivered and get past maybe um, a barrier or if you are um, somewhere where there's a security guard and is there kind of looking in the car, it could be border force um, and you just look and see who's in there. You want to be able to get past any kind of disruptions, you might say. This is really, really clever because it's the little gel molecule with all of those ingredients can actually get right down into the skin where those ingredients need to be. So it's a special delivery system that's going to make sure all those ingredients get to where they need to be. We don't want ingredients sitting on the surface of our skin because the surface of our skin here, it's old skin cells. We want to get all of these ingredients down to all the, where those new skin cells are forming. We have a skin cycle of approximately 28 days. So all those lovely, healthy skin cells that are right down there, they need to get all the goodness. So these ingredients are going to get down to where they need. So some of the ingredients we have in here, these beautiful oils of carrot seed, basil oil. Uh, we also have apple fruit extract and also clover flower extract. That, what we want to do is kind of reduce 
our, uh, our skin's fluctuations, redness, it's soothing. And all of these ingredients like the bamboo and the licorice, they're all going to work while you sleep. What's great about that is that while we sleep, our skin goes into its own recovery mode. And uh, just like Cinderella, <laughs> we say, well, we need to be in bed by 12 because it's between 12 and three. that That's the normal time that our skin will go through its own uh, recovery. And our body actually goes into recovery phase then. So uh, it's nourishing our skin while we sleep and while our skin is going into its natural recovery system anyway. So it works in synergy with the body. And then the final product that you get in your skincare starter pack is the smallest product, but it's very powerful. And this is our Forever Aloe Lips. As it says on here, kissable lips and it's nourishing. And it's a tiny little lip balm that uh, can pop into your pocket. Now, this has aloe in Jehovah and it has three waxes that can help your, your lips to keep smooth um, and chap free. Now, one of the things is that because of the oils that are in here, that they are nourishing, they're not sealing. A lot of um, uh, balms, lip balms out there may be more of a sealant. And actually, as a sealant, they become drier. This isn't doing that. It's protecting because we want them to be protected, but also nourishing the lips. So it's a great little stick that you can use all year round. And uh, as I say, it might be small but it's really powerful. So just a few fast facts. It's nourishing. It's got the aloe combined with all those natural ingredients. Uh, take it anywhere, put it in your pocket, put it in your, in your bag, put it in your briefcase, keep one in the car, wherever. Um, it's a great product for everybody and it's suitable for vegetarians. And of course, if you're looking at after your, your skin on your face, why wouldn't you want to look after the skin on your lips? Okay, so that is the end of the presentation all about the products within the skincare starter pack. However, I just want to end by giving you some up and coming dates for your diary. On Monday the 13th of May, we have the rolling training and you can register with all the links that you can see on here for the rolling training, as well as more information about the skincare starter pack. So on Thursday, the 23rd of May, all the products that I've gone through for you, you can actually learn how you can actually uh, retail those products or how you can build a business with the products on the 30th of May. So please tune in for the dates, put them in your diary. And I hope you found the information interesting and have a good evening. And I look forward to seeing you soon.